everyone, this is Erin Pelliquin from Digital Photography for Moms. In today's video, we are going to look at the facial recognition feature in Lightroom. Now, the first time you open a version of Lightroom that contains facial recognition, you'll probably get a message asking whether you would like Lightroom to automatically detect all of the faces in your entire catalog of photos or whether you would like to detect photos on an as-needed basis. Now, the answer to this question depends, about, depends on, first of all, what you want to do, uh, but also think about the number of photos you have, the size of your catalog. Even running in the background, this is a pretty slow process and can slow down the performance of Lightroom. Um, for me, I have got 70,000, 80,000 photos, and it's just too slow. It's not worth it for me to go back to my entire catalog and automatically detect all of the faces. So we'll talk about how to run this process on an as-needed basis, but let me just begin by showing you how to turn on the automatic background face detection um, if you would like to do that for your entire catalog. We're going to go up here to the nameplate. Now yours might just say Adobe Lightroom up here. Um, you pull down this drop down arrow and then go to face detection and select or click on paused. And you'll see now that it is indexing photos. That will be the message that appears. I'm going to go ahead and pause this again so that it doesn't slow us down for this video. Now to set up facial detection on an ongoing basis for Lightroom, you'll want to go to your catalog settings. On a Mac, catalog settings is here in the Lightroom menu as you can see. On a PC, you would find catalog settings here on your edit menu. So again, go to catalog settings. And you can toggle off and on this checkbox right here. Note that it's on the metadata tab. Uh, it says automatically detect faces in all photos. So if you want to start detecting automatically on, an, on a going forward basis, you can turn that on. Now I'm here in my library grid view. The grid view is where you can see multiple photos at the same time. And you can see that down here we've got this facial detection box. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. The shortcut for it is the letter O. So what Lightroom is doing right now is that it's going through all of the faces that it can find in this particular folder right here. So whichever folder is activated when you click on this facial recognition button is going to be the one um, that Lightroom is looking for faces in. Now you can see that the progress bar up here is moving pretty slowly. I'm going to pause the video while it detects faces and I will come back as soon as it has analyzed all of the faces in this folder. Okay, so I took a break from recording here while Lightroom processed the faces in this folder. There are about 655 photos and it took Lightroom maybe 20 minutes to go through them all. Now, my computer is exceptionally slow, so I don't think it would normally take that long. Um, what we have here, now that the faces have been sorted and we are still here in face facial recognition mode, you can see that um, people icon lit up on the bottom. So what you see here is that we've got two sections in our people view. We've got named people, which currently has zero photos, and we have unnamed people, which has 408 photos. Now for the unnamed people, it has applied its best guess based on who I've identified before to the photos. Now one other thing to point out here is that this folder actually has 655 images in it, only 408 were identified as having faces. So that means there are a little bit more than 200 images either that don't have faces or that Lightroom couldn't find the faces in it. So they might be side profile pictures or um, they might just be landscapes or something that truly don't have images. We'll talk about how to show Lightroom unidentified faces shortly. What we're going to do though is start here with the unnamed people and you can see that some of these images have numbers on them on a stack of photos. And so what this is saying is that there are four people similar to this that Lightroom thinks are my daughter Livia. So I can click right here 
and it will unstack those four um, so that I can confirm, yes, they are all Livia. I can click on that icon again to collapse the stack, and then I can click on this check mark here. And so now we've got an unnamed people section um, as well as a named people section. So I can scroll down to other pictures of Livia and I can actually drag them up here to the named section and release them over the picture of Livia. So that's a simple way to identify other pictures of Livia or I can just click on the check marks. So another easy way to approve a large number of photos that Lightroom has tentatively identified for you is to use your command or control key as you click on each stack or individual photo. And so you can see now that these are all highlighted. I can click one check mark and that will accept them all. So I could do the same for my husband here. Now this one clearly is not Livia. So I am going to say, no, this is not Livia. And I'm going to click on the name field and start typing. And you can see that Lightroom says, oh, must be Mike, your husband. So I'll just click on that to accept it. And I can continue going through all these photos because I had this field active for editing. It is reactivated in the next set of images. So I can just hit the enter sign. And so that will let me process through these photos. Now this isn't Livia, this is me. And I am showing off my blue tongue from the cookie that Livy made for me. So I'll go ahead and type the letter E. And you can see that it pulls up my name. I hit the enter key and then hit enter again to accept the changes. And now when we go up here to the named people section, you can see that I've now got Aaron, Livia, and Mike. So that's essentially the process here. Um, I could go through all of these photos and click on all the ones that I wanted to accept. I could change the photos as I needed to. Um, and really, it wouldn't take me very long. Okay, so let's talk about a couple of other situations here. Going down to these pictures, I'm going to click on this one. I don't know any of these people. So I am just going to click on each of the facial recognition boxes and hit my delete key. These, I wanted a picture of the sign, not of the students. Um, and so that way I can just turn those off and remove them from the view. Now, you might have noticed that Lightroom did not recognize this person as a person because she, we're looking at her in profile. So if I did want to flag her for whatever reason, I could simply click and drag and then start typing her name right there. So I'll just hit delete or I can click on this X as well um, to remove that photo. And now returning to my facial recognition grid, um, I can again X this one out to say I don't want to recognize any faces in it. Okay, so I could continue going through and accepting these photos or rejecting them as I wanted to. Um, I'm not going to do that during this video. The next thing I want to do is talk about the way these keywords work. So I am going to go over here to my keyword list and you'll notice at this filter keywords uh, menu bar or input box right there, there's this triangle now and you can click that to filter out just your people keywords. And so this way you can look at all the people. So if I wanted to see all the photos I've ever taken of my daughter, for example, I could click on this arrow to the right and it's going to show me every photo that I've ever keyworded with my daughter, Livia. Now, another thing I can do from here is I can double click on the keyword name and I can get some options here. Um, so for instance, when you export your photos, and this is important if you're posting them on social media, you might not want that keyword name to be included in the exported file. So I can turn that off. Um, you do want person to be turned on because that's what sorts it into this people folder. So I'll hit save there. Now, 
It's only been since Lightroom 6 or Lightroom CC 2015 that Lightroom has had this capability. So if you look in my keyword list, um, you'll see that I have got other instances of my daughter's name. So there's Livia. This is the one I'm looking at. Um, but I've also got a typo, for example. And I have got other ones, for instance, her birthday. So what I can do here is double click and I can actually make this a person keyword as well so that it shows up in that people list. Something else to keep in mind about this people keyword list is that you might want to consider how you sort the keywords. They're going to actually sort in alphabetical order, but you might think about doing it by family group. So for instance, you could type last name first, and that way everyone, for instance, with last name Smith would sort together. So it could be Smith, comma, Mary, Smith, comma, Mike, um, and that would put them all in the same group. So if you want to get creative with your sorting, you can certainly do that. So this has been a quick tour of facial recognition in Lightroom. It works for versions uh, beginning with Lightroom 6 or Lightroom CC 2015. If you have questions or want more tutorials on Lightroom, visit my website, digitalphotographyformoms.com. I also have a four-week Lightroom workshop that you can attend online and learn everything about organizing and editing your photos in Lightroom. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.